This is Diana. We require your services once again, and this time you will have to prove your money's worth. Our client has lost some cargo, which he wants back at any cost. It appears to be stolen by a bunch of renegades armed to the teeth. The cargo is hidden somewhere in the desert. This is a two-stage mission. First, you must eliminate Lieutenant Ahmed Zahir and get a map from him. It shows the location of the cargo. He's quite weak, has a pacemaker, and goes for a nap every day after noon prayers. So this is a good time to eliminate him without raising any suspicions. If the alarm is sounded, the mission will fail. He is well guarded and behind locked doors, where only his trusted personal bodyguards have keys and access. Both his and the guards' quarters are situated in front of the palace. When this is done, you will have to kill Colonel Mohammed Amin and steal the key he's holding. It's an important part of the cargo. Call me when you're done with the lieutenant, and I will brief you on the whereabouts of the colonel. On the video, you can see both targets. It's the lieutenant entering the house. I repeat, eliminate the lieutenant without any alarm. Get the map and call me for further information. Okay, Donna. Let's get our stuff. Okay, guys, I reckon we should bring um, a pistol. That should be good. Um, probably the combat knife. And uh, the anesthetic, of course. Because we always need that. Okay. Let's get started. Hi guys, I'm Fagoni82 and this is Murder at the Bazaar. Only one way in here for me it seems. If I make an inconspicuous approach, I should blend in just nicely and get the jump done. Probably a few obstacles to clean up. Yeah, you, you blend in so well, 47, in your clothes. And you're like the only white man of like 100 miles or something. In this, it's quite small. It's a smallish map. It looks quite large. If you think about it, it's only that and that. You can't go anywhere down here, of course. You can't go over there yet, because that's actually our next mission is over there. And uh, there's a palace here that you can't get into, because that's the escape. But anyway, guys, we're actually two thirds of the way through the game now, which is pretty cool. So we're going well, because we're mission 14 now. And uh, that's great. And uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is we're going to do the complete opposite of what Diana told us to do. We're going to kill the Colonel first, and then we're going to kill the Lieutenant. Before we do even that, we have to go and get a key for the Lieutenant's back door so we can get into him and strangle him and stuff, and then throw him on his bed and pretend he had a heart attack because he has like a pacemaker. But anyway, and I'm also going to show you an Easter egg and a sniper rifle, which is going to be pretty cool. And uh, we have all these posters everywhere. And um, I don't know about you guys, but that guy looks a bit like the guy from The Dictator. The movie, um, the comedy movie about the guy who's, guess what, a dictator. <laughs> That's quite funny. But, um, watch that, guys. Good movie. But, um, the first thing we're going to do, as I said, is go to the guard quarters. And that is harder said than done. Because, um, although you can walk past the guards here, they won't get to red. As you see, my alert system is going, like, crazy. But, um, they won't do it. But, um, there's actually the palace where the colonel, what he'll do is he'll be like, oh, and run through that door, and mission failed. But I think they put loads of effort in for this kind of palace, as I show you, all of that, just it's never going to get used. You just don't use it at all. Anyway. And, like, I can walk, like, straight up to this guy, and he won't even care, look, see? Like, really high, won't even care. But anyway, the reason I didn't go through that door is, one, if anyone sees you within a metre, they'll instantly run over to you and, like, tell you, like, to go away, and then they'll start to go red and then shoot you and stuff. Well, the alert meter will, not them. <laughs> but, um, and if you do manage to get away when those two guards aren't looking, the guards all the way over there will actually see you through that door trying to get in, which is crazy, because they're not even looking now, but they will. They will see you. So what we're going to do, then, is we're going to go up this ladder onto this roof, which would have been a really good sniping position for the, um... Lieutenant, because think his house is only like over there-ish, so we could have sniped him, but because he's got loads of windows in his house, but we're not. We're going to climb down this ladder without falling down it. You probably wouldn't die, but better be safe than sorry, eh? Go out of crouch now and look at this terrible guard room. Grab the door key, which they leave on the table, and we'll grab this sniper rifle, which is pretty cool. 
And uh, in case you haven't got this already, we got this in St. Petersburg, the um, St. Petersburg Stakeout, and it's the SVD sniper rifle, which is fine, but I'm going to drop it, because if anyone sees me with it, I'm dead. If you actually wear the colonel's clothes, you can pick it up and walk around. But here's the Easter egg, guys. It's a um, challenge of the ninja, which is a real film, and I'll put a link in the description to it, and it's in uh, on YouTube, in English dub or subtitles, one of them. And uh, it came out about 1989, I think, which is pretty cool. And there's another poster of the guy. And uh, check that out if you want to. And I wanted to watch it just because it wasn't Hitman, which is pretty cool. So now remember the guys crouch again and slowly walk back towards the ladder. Because um, what the colonel is doing right now is he is getting into fights with the, um, the fruit sellers. And he'll randomly go up to them and... Uh, start hitting them and the guy next to him will start hitting him and he'll like laugh at them and stuff and uh, he likes to pick fights with them all the time and now and again he'll go to this one empty cellar and you can hide behind some boxes and get in there and then strangle him because his guard will actually look away his personal bodyguard and what's funny is you can then walk out of the cellar and the personal bodyguard won't even notice seeming you're the guard you've just been like looking after him for like like days and hours and stuff in a row and that's actually where you climb up onto the roof and you see all those windows over there you can um go down and you use your sniper rifle and you can actually snipe him like from like boom like that and uh there's some loads of fruit around here but um you see like the ones up there and there they'll they'll be up there and uh you can like snipe them and but the thing is uh if anyone sees you and they will because they look up and it's done for. And here's some graffiti and stuff. And there is loads of fruit, because this is a bazaar. We've got some, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, uh, what, something, some grain, maybe, some blueberries, mashed blueberries, I don't know. <laughs> and another picture of that guy. And he's actually going to be our next target. But uh, they put his picture everywhere, just so we'd know. And we're going to go through the back entrance of the bazaar, and I'll tell you why, actually. Uh, if you go over here, there are two guards just there patrolling, and they're really close together, and your suspicion will get very, very high. And uh, the general is probably going to be coming down here in a second. Yes, he's going to come down here, either down here or to one of the other guys. But um, because it's actually it changes, you can be waiting here, but he should be coming down here. So, get out our fire boy. Is it? Yep, he's coming down here. And as you'll see, his guard will actually face away from him. And while well, he smokes a cigarette, um, that guard there, as you see, turns away. Now, don't go out straight away, because uh, the general there, he takes a little bit of time to turn around. So, Mr. Colonel, not general, <laughs> did you ever know smoking kills? Yeah, you choke to death. Now, guys, you've got to remember to... um. Staying crouched, pick up his key. Remember, that's the key we need for the thing. Pick up his revolver if you want, and drag him. Now, the guy there will spend ages looking out, so you've got plenty of time. But just remember to drag him behind here where he won't get seen. Drop that body and take his clothes. I should make sure his head's out of the way. For some reason, like, <laughs> their bodies like spaz out. Let's go out of the um, thing. Now, be careful because this guy will recognise you, so walk a little bit near him, then walk backwards. Now he's going to walk away like that. And guys, you remember, grab the key off the general, because that key is not for the left hand in house, it is for the bomb. The big um, bomb that's been stolen. And the same, you need to steal the map the left hand. Because I've done this before, I've, got, I've killed both of them, and walked all the way over to that exit, which is just over there, and um, forgotten the map or something. No. Stick to the wall, because now they'll get super suspicious and stuff. Stick close to the wall, you see it's getting high and red. So, um, stick to that wall. We're far enough away, we should be fine. Okay. And that is basically the waiting part over, because um, normally if you go straight to the general, you have to wait, like, I don't know, like six minutes, seven minutes? It takes quite a while. But, um, so, probably best to kill time and go and grab that key over there and all the other stuff. But now we're going to go over to the lieutenant's house, and I'm making sure no one watches. We can do a little bit of running. Just make sure those guys don't see us, but as soon as we're behind that wall there, I'll do some running, because we want to speed this up a little bit. So, run. 
and we're just going to run through this little side alley bit here, which is just here. Now, those guys are going to go and have a smoke, and I'm going to be really quick, and I'm going to get there before they go in. Because normally they'll have a smoke for ages, and I don't want that, so I'm going to open this door and close this door again. And crouch. Close door. Crouch here. Now, you see the guy here? He's facing the wrong way now. So what we're going to do is we're going to run backwards and forwards a little bit here. Now crouch. Now, if you look at your map now... Okay, he's walking away now. But normally, if he's facing the wrong way, you've just got to run a little bit. Now, I don't want those guards to see me, because if they do... They'll have a... I think... Nah. Can't quite see them. They're having a smoke or something. So I'm actually going to... Down this end, and then guys, it's like in the Japanese missions run and they'll look in your direction. So, just run a little bit here. Hopefully, he should turn around. No, he's run over there for some reason, but actually, he's turned enough now. So, we'll do a little bit more running here. Yep, he's facing the right direction now. So, as soon as you do that, crouch because you start walking, he'll turn to where you are. Now, when we kill this guy, after a while, a guard will come up these stairs and find his body. It's just weird. It just does happen. So, we're going to go up these stairs. Get out our fibre wire. And pretend this guy had a heart attack. And... <laughs> strangle the shit out of him. Now, what's happened is, pick up the coordinates. Forgot that last time. Pick up 9mm pistol in case you haven't got it. And leave his clothes. Now, right now, yep, as I thought, a guard's come in here. So we're going to stand up, and we're actually going to wait for him to come up the stairs. And walk out. Whoa, my God, guys, that was close. Oh, my God, that was close. That probably counts as an alert, guys. But normally, I'm surprised only one guard normally comes in. Oh, my God, that was crazy. We should still get some assassin, but still, guys. Run back down here. Um, yeah, try not... Sometimes, if you, try strangling him when the guards are on their patrol and then they'll walk around then go in. I was unlucky because they were actually smoking outside and ran straight in. So I've probably got an alert, maybe a close encounter. See, they found the body. They always do that, so don't worry. But as long as we're not wearing his clothes, they won't be suspicious of a suspicious lieutenant, which is quite funny. So remember, just stick to the walls, guys, and the exit is just over there. We've got everything we need, and we should be getting Silent Assassin. So just grip this wall next to uh, the Dictator, as I'll call him now on. <laughs> from now on. And we're almost done. Nearly there. Ooh. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Just remember, do not run. Imagine running now, because you run in someone's line of sight in this game, as I say, every time... They will, like, get so angry, which is so unrealistic, but whatever. There we are. Yep, I thought so. One alert because of that guy. But, um, what can you do? So, overall, we've done almost two hours now. Still stunned assassin, five shot fired. So, we're doing quite well. So, 11 minutes, so a good thing. So, guys, um, let's check out the next part. So, uh, murder the bazaar, save... And then we can go on to the next part. And you can probably see why I'm filming it right now. What time I'm filming it. 47. Your target is a local Khan, Abdul Bismillah oh, is that guy? Malik. You won't have any trouble recognising him. His picture is on posters all over the city. It's the dictator we're going to kill. He's currently trying to sell the cargo to the UN, which is here to check out the goods later today. The Khan is returning That's to the past map we were last time, and now we're on the other side of the city, kind of. They will arrive from no, the east along the road. Eliminate him before he reaches his palace, but without harming any of the UN soldiers. It would be detrimental to business, 47, so keep it clean. The villagers are a bit edgy if they catch a foreigner carrying big guns around within their perimeter. So watch your move. There's where the big gun will be. So guys, um, I'll see you next time when we're killing Sheikh Limo. No, that's Sheikh. No, it's Abdullah Mulk. Or the dictators, I'll call him. <laughs> so guys... So please like, comment and subscribe. I mean guys, just hit that like button. It will take like two seconds. Just press that button. It really makes me happy to see like a video that has lots of good likes. And just leave a comment like, can't wait to your next episode. Really good, really helpful if you're playing this. Because it is difficult to like make these because 
it is a hard game, especially on Expert. So, um, again, like, comment, and subscribe if you love my videos, and I'll see you next time. So.